we're excited to come to this group today to announce the general availability of a tool we've been working on quite extensively in the last two years, which is called Kyoda. You might have seen this in, in some preview stages in the past. Kyoda is a really, really, really uh, cool tool to work with HTTP APIs, but what is it exactly? It is a client code generator for HTTP APIs that are described by OpenAPI from the Microsoft Graph team. So basically we have been rebuilding our foundation tooling to build our Microsoft Graph client libraries, but we went a little bit further and we basically enabled generating HTTP clients for any type of open API described APIs. The experience is available as a common line tool and I have a, a really, really cool demo later on to show you how we're also integrating that in other properties that we have here at Microsoft, which I think is really, really cool. If you want to give us a, a star on GitHub, we'd love and appreciate that, uh, aka.ms slash Kyoto. If you want to see our um, uh, documentation right now, it lives on GitHub. Very soon, it's going to be all on Microsoft Learn. For now, microsoft.github.io slash Kyoto. Yeah, Vincent, it's exactly like and subscribe, and we need to have a good thumbnail for that YouTube video. How can you get it? Well, first, aka.ms slash get slash Kyoto. You're going to go, you're going to install. It's all based on a .NET tool. So you're going to do a .NET tool install dash dash global microsoft.openapi.kyota. That will install the core CLI experience inside your machine. Works on Mac, works on Linux, works, works on Windows. And we have a ton of other ways to also install it, either via, uh, via our releases, via a, a Docker container, or if you just want to build Kyoto as this is all built in the open source on GitHub. Uh, what can I do with Kyoto? So first we have an area where we want to talk about discovery. You want to be able to find APIs that are available somewhere to help you do the thing you want to do. Um, so you will be able to search for APIs as part of our, of our CLI experience. Uh, we have built-in support for searching the API gurus directory and also tagged GitHub repos. So you will be able to provide open API descriptions and tag them in your repos. And we're going to be able to bring them inside the Kyoto experience. We also support authenticated for private GitHub. Uh, so you can log in and actually get these capabilities inside your CLI, even if it's a private repo. And um, we're going to be able to also, in, in the future, provide more catalogs there. Um, we have the ability, as part of the discovery experience, to show you the path hierarchy. And I'm going to show you that later on. It's really, really cool where you can actually see what the API looks like. So you can make decisions on which areas of the API you really care about. And finally, it's, it's very simplistic. There's more, more to that in Kyoto, but search, show, and then generate. Take that experience, take that API that you really care about and generate an API client with your API of choice. And that will generate in a couple of languages that you have access to, either C Sharp, TypeScript, Python, Ruby, Java, uh, a CLI experience, and I'm missing one, um, PHP. Thank you very much, Vincent. Uh, I know that. And Go. There you go. Uh, we're going to show you all that in the demo. Uh, so, for example, if you're searching for Kyoto, you just go, you do Kyoto search GitHub, and you're going to find all the, the available capabilities for um, GitHub, all of the different API that have been published to the API gurus directory, from where you will be able to identify a specific open API description, where you will be able to use some um, inclusions. You're going to be able to say, I really care about the search capabilities of GitHub. So can you provide me all the capabilities that have the slash search in there? And from there, you're going to be able to see a nice tree of all the APIs that are in there. And from there, you will be able to generate a client in C Sharp or in TypeScript or in Go or in Java or in PHP or in any other uh, languages. Add that to your project and have a very limited, super powerful, very specific API client to work inside your application. That's 
Really, 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 really cool. I'm going to show you that in a second. And at the end, we're going to tell you all the different underlying packages that you need to add to your solution to make sure that you have all the, the, the best experience right there. We're providing for you um, uh, default implementations. But if you want, you can also override all of that and roll out your own serialization or authentication or uh, client libraries, if, depending on the languages that you care about. Maybe you want to have a specific HTTP client that you want to use to get access to your data. You will be able to roll that out. So once we're done with this, as we are now, we're GA, we're going to also roll an experience inside Graph Explorer. Graph Explorer will enable you to identify the capabilities that you care about Graph and generate a subset of endpoints just for your app right there. And this is the ideas we have here. We're also coming, that's what I want to show today, our VS Code extension, where you're going to have the exact same experience or a very similar experience um, that will uh, exist in Graph Explorer, but now straight inside the IDE. So without any further ado, and I want to make sure I have time to do the demo, let me move on to our demo. Let's do that. Let's open up my console here and let's start. So I have an app uh, that is working in that repository here where I can do Kyoto search and I'm going to search for GitHub. And now I can find all the different APIs that have been pushed to API Guru. If you want to just bring your own open API description, you can also do that. Uh, you can search for um, any type of stuff that you want to translate. In Klingon, you can also find that as, as part of the API gurus. You, you do you, right? Um, in that case, I want to be able to get this capability right here. But you know what? I'm a little bit lazy. So yes, the Kyoto CLI experience is great. I show, I've shown you the experience in the slides. But let's go into the real cool stuff where I'm going to show you the exact same experience but as part of our VS Code extension. Let me go here. Let me close that part here. Let me go to this where I have the Kyoto Open API Explorer. Where I can search and let's start from here. I can search for GitHub where I will find all the, the same APIs that I found earlier. I'll be able to click on that API here. On the left side, I'm going to be able to see all the different endpoints that are available as part of GitHub. In my case, what I really care about is I want to go in my repos because I want to do a demo on syncing pull requests because I'm always extremely lazy with pull requests. I never go back to GitHub. I want to have them in my Microsoft 365 to do to do list. I want to sync the PR from GitHub straight into Microsoft to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create myself a client to GitHub just for my own repo. And I'm going to, all the pools that are on a specific repo, I'm going to go here. I could actually use the, the um, here I can just say, I want this endpoint. That's it. That's the only endpoint I, I, I care about. I don't need to bring a full NuGet with all these capabilities that might take too much space or whatsoever. No, I'm just going to hit play here. I'm going to say, I want it to be called GitHub client. I want this to live inside my project within the namespace uh, github to do demo dot github. And I want that to live inside the github client folder that I have in my app. And now it, it's going to ask me for which language I want to use here which is C Sharp, Go, Java, PHP, Python, Ruby, Shell, Swift, or TypeScript. Right now, only C Sharp is a stable language, which means it has been pushed uh, as a generally available release. But we're also uh, working hard on having all of these languages available. You're going to see them once our Microsoft Graph SDKs are, are shipped for these languages. You're going to see them almost automatically being bumped up in Kyoto at the same time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select this here. Um, it generates my client, and that's it. It just generated me a full client. I can go here. I will find my GitHub client right here, where I see my client 
I, I'm going to see uh, all the different models that I need. I'm going to see my uh, um, request builder, which is what I'm going to play with. But the beauty here is I actually don't really care about this because this is generated code. The part that I really need then is this. That's where I want to work with the capabilities that I care about. Um, so for instance, I'm going to build my own GitHub client here. Well, that is very interesting. What did I do to break my demo? This is, oh, because I, yes, I have. Oh, yeah. I created a GitHub client. Let me just delete that guy. Because I already have it. So I have, I created twice the same thing. So that's why I have, uh, I have that red squiggly. So now, the only thing I have to do, I'm creating myself an authentication provider. Um, we have created for this specific uh, demo a GitHub auth provider. We provide by default some Azure implementations. Uh, they're an anonymous uh, provider also uh, right there. Where I pass in a couple of parameters. I create myself a request adapter that will basically adapt all uh, my requests using my authentication provider. And now I'm ready. I have my GitHub client. What it means here is that from now on, I will be able to do the following. And let's just focus on the code here. I will be able to do something like GitHub uh, client dot. And now GitHub Copilot actually comes into play, which is actually really cool, right? It helps me understand I have Copilot. It understands my the, the shape of my SDK. It understands what it can do. But if I look at here, I only have my repos available. I don't have all the, the, the client code available. I can then do indexing here, which is how uh, GitHub works here. So my index here, which is the name of my organization, the name of Kyoto, sorry for that, demo repo. And then I can just do a, a dot pulls because that's what I care about, dot get async. So you see how simple this becomes to, to write. Very predictable. All of our APIs will actually look all the same throughout any type of HTTP APIs you've been using. Something I wanted to show before I hand it over to the next presenter is how simple it is to build these kind of apps. We have in total, 67 lines of code to build a full sync engine between GitHub and the Microsoft Graph. I've done the same for my Microsoft Graph client, where I have exactly the same thing here. But if you know the Graph client usually in C Sharp, you're going to see that there is not a lot to it. I only have .me and only have .to do because that's the only thing that I really care about. Meaning that in the end, if I run this specific piece of code, and that's how I'm going to end my demo today, which is a little bit scary to do all of that and just do all this. I'm going to just do a .NET run here where I'm going to run this specific piece of code, where I'm going to go through double authentication to help me get into GitHub, and then afterwards get into, uh, no, that's not what I want. That is, give me a second. I'm just going to copy that guy here. Gary, I'm sorry to steal you one minute. Uh, and then I need to, I, that had to happen, right? Give me one second, go on my phone, doing these kind of things. There you go. I'm connected then. It's going to ask me the same thing for the Microsoft Graph. The beauty of device code where you just feel like you're always logging into. Uh, to your app. Now I'm gonna log. I'm gonna be logged in here. I'm just gonna continue. I'm logged in, and then automatically the code will continue. Will add tasks in my task list inside the Microsoft Graph from two pull requests that were there. I go here, and now I have all of this available as part of this. So, ak.ms slash Kyoto. Go have a look, build your own HTTP clients. We'd love to get your star. We'd love to get your feedback on that, how we can improve. Vesa, back to you. Excellent. Thank you, Seb. Really, really cool.